All right. So right now I'm in that trigger that we made right here, right? Okay. So you want to link up a specific location to this trigger. So we're going to go to Edit Trigger, go to Viewport, Edit Component. I like to use Arrow Component. And what I want to do is just rotate it up. Oops. And this is more for a visual thing. It doesn't really matter if you do this or not. Okay, and now what I want to do is on Component Overlap, I want to drag off my first person character, set actor location. that in. Uh, I'm going to na name this, name that new location. And I want to get world location. I'm going to split that, split that. And what I like to do is add mm, like 50 to the Z. Just so it's above it a little bit, right? So now we have the set actor location and we're going to set it to this arrow components location. So now select your trigger box and in here select your new location, move it to where you want it to be. So now I'll walk through here and I teleport to that new location. Um, so, you know, you said you were doing a level streaming and a transition. So what you can do here is, um, you know, you can add delay, a short delay if you want to, because, you know, you're calling that those level stream events and then you can delay for a second and then set electro location. Uh, you could also kind of play or turn on your post process volume to create a, uh, you know, a visual mask. Uh, to kind of hide the transitioning um, and so on, but uh, uh, but this should do it okay for you. And then of course you can do something like this. Grab that. Let's move it like right over here. Play. over here and it'll teleport me here go right here and teleport me over here all right hope that helps